KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January 25th, 2020. I'm Scott Martin. We are dry with many of us seeing a good bit of sunshine throughout the day today. Unfortunately, we are in an active pattern where we will see a chance of showers nearly on every other day, and that starts back late on Sunday. More on that in just a moment. As of 7.35 this morning, all of the southern half of central Alabama has clear skies, while the northern parts are still dealing with those clouds from a low off to our north. No rain is associated with those clouds as it is a clean sweep on radar. Temperatures as of the 7 a.m. roundup were in the 30s to the lower 40s across the area. The warm spot was Tuscaloosa at 41 degrees. The cool spots were Demopolis, Pell City, and Selma all at 30 degrees. Birmingham was sitting at 36 degrees. Nothing on the hazards map as there are no watches, warnings, or advisories in effect across central Alabama and no severe weather is expected across the area for today. Now time to dive into the forecast. Here is the 0Z run of the GFS valid today at noon. So for today, the low that brought us the cold front and rain that moved through over the past two days will be stationed near the Great Lakes. That means for us that we'll start off with some clouds over the northern parts of central Alabama with the southern half having sunny skies. Skies will clear out during the day and highs will reach the upper 40s to the mid 50s. Clouds look to return during the late night and overnight hours ahead of the next disturbance that will begin to start taking shape out to our west for tonight. Lows will be in the 30s. Cooler temperatures are not going anywhere for your Sunday as clouds continue to move in from the west as a disturbance continues to gather strength off to our southwest. Rain chances will begin to enter the forecast during the late night and overnight hours as there will be a decent chance of showers across the area. Afternoon highs will continue to be in the upper 40s to the mid 50s. Those shower chances will be moving out of the area during the morning hours on Monday and clouds will begin to slowly clear out as well. We will be slightly warmer with highs reaching a more seasonal lower 50s to near 60 degrees across the area. Another disturbance forms out to our west and will be moving in our direction on Tuesday but will stay dry through at least the late night hours. Shower chances will begin to move in after midnight, but they will be small at this point. Afternoon highs will be in the lower 50s to near 60 degrees. The low associated with the disturbance looks to be located over the western parts of the Florida Panhandle, which will continue to keep shower chances in our forecast for Wednesday. Once again, shower chances look to be small at this point. Afternoon highs will be in the lower 50s to near 60 degrees. Finally, we get a chance to be dry for a day or two, starting on Thursday. We'll have plenty of sunshine with only one or two passing clouds. Highs will be in the mid-50s to the lower 60s. Unfortunately, another disturbance starts heading our way on Friday, and it looks like we will not get to make it through the day before showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two move in during the late afternoon and evening hours. Rain looks to be likely through the late night and overnight hours as a surface low will be moving through the northern parts of the area. At this point, rain may not leave the area until late on Saturday. Highs on Friday will be in the mid-50s to the lower 60s. That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.